Anywho. Anywho. We are here back with another episode of Tamla and Taylor Street Talk Tuesday podcast. We hope that you guys have enjoyed the podcast so far this year. It's so crazy that we're in October and yet October has completely vanished. Okay. It is getting chilly outside. The fall is falling right now okay it's setting in the leaves are falling it is beautiful it's my favorite season and we're gonna talk to you about some chat gpt all right so tamla has some things to show you i'll chime in whenever i can you know what i'm saying and we're gonna talk to you about how your business can be enhanced by using this AI automation. So um, I'm Taylor with Taylor's Kitchen located in Albion, Michigan, where we make custom sweet treats for your special occasions. And I can be found on all social media platforms at Sweet Spirit Treats. I'm going to head over to Tamala and let her talk to you guys about this chat GPT. All right. Yes. Thank you, Taylor. So yeah, I'm Tamala, owner of Torlitas for that sweet and crunchy taste. Torlitas is a dessert company located right here in this great state of Ohio, where I specialize in salty, sweet treats. If you want to know more about me and my business, head on over to Instagram at Torlitas. That's T as in Tuesday, O-R-L-I-T-A-S. And just as Taylor was saying before, AI is here and it's not going anywhere. All right, folks, it's not going any place. So why not use some tools that Taylor and myself use to help you in your business, right? So if you're new to AI, which is artificial intelligence, I know, I know, I know it's a scary topic. It's a scary topic for a lot of people. Yeah, they're going to zap our brain. Yeah, our brain, brain's not going to use any, you know, we're not going to have to use our brains anymore and all the stuff that you've heard, right? But let me share this with you, okay? AI can help you in your business. And let me show you how. I'm going to be using uh, Microsoft Beam, but there's Chat GPT and there's various versions of that. There's Google Bard. Oh my gosh, there's Mid Journey, there's Dali, there is blah, 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 blah. I don't even know how many there are now, but they're all are advantageous for you and your business. Tired of thinking of what to say on Instagram? Well, guess what? <laughs> or any of the social media accounts, Chat, GPT, Bard, or any of these, I'm talking about Bing, I'll talk about Bing, which is Microsoft. They have a way to create content for you. And all you got to do is read it. Or guess what? There's another AI that will take your voice and read in your voice so you don't have to do anything. Yeah, it's a bit scary, but it's available, right? It's available. And if you know, you don't know, I know I'm going on on because it's, it's an interesting topic, but um, what do you think about Taylor? How have you used um, the um, Chat GPT in your business? I have used it to help me write bulk e emails. I have used it to help me with some campaigns um, to send out to my clients. I've also used it to help me do things such as cover letters. Um, I've helped it has helped me to do newsletters and lots of other things because um, me speaking to someone is completely different than me writing a letter. And English has not always been my strong suit. However, um, it has been very helpful in those areas for me and for my business. Um, I remember a couple of years ago, we were taking that course and we were like, the one thing we don't understand is how to make this fit into our space or into our industry um, because we were learning from someone who does like sort of like has like universal products, right? So they can be used for <clears throat> any business, but it was just like that last person 
personalized thing. Like, how do I make this specifically for home make home bakers and home treat makers? And so that's what I have been using it for for a while now. And it's been helping me out tremendously. Nice. Yes. All of that. All of that. It'll tell you, it can tell you trends. It can tell you what's trending in your local area. All you have to do, and there's something called prompts. I want to be very mm -hmm. specific about this. Something called prompts. And it's akin to or liking, it's an example of that is, what do you ever type in? You type into Google, I want to find out about what's trending in, um, in candy in the year 2023. It's kind of like that, but you got to be specific, specific. Instead of saying what is trending in uh, for candy in 2023, I might put what, what are, um, what is trending in chocolate, salty, sweet snacks, flavors, and what are the age groups of people that like those things? And guess what? It goes to work and it spits out information to you, okay? And it's such a great tool for you to kind of hone in on what you want to offer and what and, and who do you right. want to offer it to. So that, mm -hmm. or just, well, I'll just give a simple example. Give me 10 ideas of what to post on my Instagram account relating to my, um, an audience that would enjoy, um, that are foodies, that enjoy chocolate, and that loves to celebrate the holidays. And it spits out 10 ideas to you automatically, okay? And you can take that information, right, and apply it to um, how to post on your social media. So it really just takes the guesswork, besides that initial prompt, right? It takes the guesswork out of, what all that you have to write and how to write it. And then guess what? Here's a little trick. You can take one of those topics and say, give me five reasons or five days of content or let's put it another way. Give me five um, titles I can use for a short story or a reel. And it'll spit out five topics for a reel. All right. So we're, how are we going to try it out? This is on Bing chat by Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Bing. So what's the question you want to ask it? Uh, what are the, the Dessert. <laughs> top five trending desserts for fall? And hit return. <laughs> all right okay, so they bye. listen yeah they listen to some traditional things apple cream yeah caramel apples sweet potato mm -hmm. they heard me that. say sweet potatoes they ain't say the sweet potato um have you saw the sweet potato cheesecake bars yes and i want one you making them <laughs> yeah, and I want one. I'm gonna make some. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on my list of things to make. They look delicious. Nice. Okay, let's ask another one. What are five topics? to discuss on a sweet treat, wait a minute, treat podcast. All right, let's see what it's gonna do. Mm -hmm. Let me move this, see if I can move this.
history of desserts, baking. All right, we got <laughs> dessert pairings, dessert trends, dessert culture. You know, dessert culture is a big thing. We don't ever, I guess, when we did the sweet potato versus pumpkin pie last year, that was more of a cultural thing. Yeah. We should do we should do some more trending desserts. Okay, let me mm. see if I can copy this. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Tamlin Taylor Street Talk Tuesday podcast. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any more questions about how to enhance your business with AI, let us know in the comments. Have a blessed week. Bye.